it's an interesting day, isn't it? Because uh, Rangers fans are uh, waking up to the news this morning that the favourite for the job now is Philippe Clement, who is uh, the guy who was sacked by Monaco uh, in the summer for failing to get into European competition. They won one of their last seven games at the end of last season. He was replaced by Ali Hooter over the course of the summer. Clever and Muscat is still in there. He's one of the leading contenders as well but I wonder what Rangers fans are thinking this morning because seemingly uh, it, it comes across on social media that they'd rather have someone who is unknown to the, the British game um, in charge of their club than someone like Frank Lampard or Scott Parker or even Wayne Rooney all of whom have been mentioned at some point over the course of uh, the weekend is that because fans now are, are more tactically mm. aware and they've looked into it and they've studied it a little bit more or is it because there's a narrative surrounding some of the members of that golden generation I think it's probably a combination of the two uh, I think if you look at Frank Lampard who we know was someone that Graeme Sunez I think would have recommended for the job at Ibrox it was the negative reaction the adverse reaction from Rangers fans that I think probably put paid to his chances uh, Scott Parker was it was another potential contender but we've reached out to sources close to him and I think he's biding his time before he goes back in the dugout but I'm not sure he was ever a front runner for that job then you look at Steven Gerrard who's obviously had to go over to Saudi Arabia to try and rebuild his career obviously he's been handsomely rewarded financially but did he really not have belief in his ability to get another top job in the Premier League that he had to go over and, and take the dollar over in Saudi? I think, it's, I think it's fascinating. I think when it comes to Lampard, you and I have slightly different opinions on his credentials. You think he did a good job at Derby. Uh, I would suggest that actually, finishing-wise, they've what, one place higher than they were the previous season and still lost out in the playoffs. Chelsea first time what around to after that? Took, them into the, took them into the top four what happened to Derby after that and, and, and then it all unravelled very quickly once he actually had a transfer budget and you look well, at it his... didn't unravel did it they, I mean when they when he left the club I think it was four months later they won the Champions League didn't it was that unravelling is it well would they have won the Champions League if Frank Lampard had well, stayed in charge we don't know the answer to that but, but, we do, but we do know that it wasn't that long afterwards that it happened I, so it so can't be all bad I, I don't think he's as good as, as you suggest he is. Well, and I, I haven't suggested anything. I'm just answering your question. And I think Rangers fans see themselves still, certainly they would argue they're the biggest club in Scotland. Obviously, Celtic supporters would argue otherwise. They believe that they can compete in Europe. Although you look at their last result last week and, and you would question that as well. But I think Rangers fans see themselves at a certain level and they don't think Frank Lampard will be good enough for them. It'll it's be it, interesting it, to see where Lampard it's, pitches it, up next. It's, it's, inter well, it's more interesting to see what, why the Rangers fans feel the way they do and that where they would seemingly prefer someone who hasn't got been able to get Monaco into um, the, uh, the, the Champions League, the Europa League or even the Conference League last season. Um than they would to have someone who you know presided over a team that got into the Champions League places, saved Everton from relegation in the biggest league in the world, uh, while they wouldn't want someone, for example, like Scott Parker, who done a very good job getting Fulham promoted to the Premier League. And relegated again. But, but ultimately, what, what, what has Philippe Clement done? You told me he had a great CV earlier on, then you went through the CV and you started a backtrack. Well, he's won the league in Belgium. Right. Um, and bowl accounts did well with both... Uh, Genk and Club Rouge. It's a slightly different level, though, isn't it? You know, I mean, you're assessing a manager that's won something in Belgium and a manager that's won some who has been a part of um, the Premier League. Been a part of. <laughs> well, been a part of the Premier League. <laughs> you were going to say he's done won it, something. Been in a the relative League. success in the Premier League. I, listen, I think we need to ask Rangers fans why they didn't want Frank Lampard and why they're happy with Philippe Clement. I personally think that Kevin Muscat has just as bigger chance you look you look at the fact does he, he have just the biggest chance or is that because well he played you've for, spoken to his camp and he wants to be involved he plays he certainly wants to be involved he played for rangers i think he has done well in japan he's done well in australia he's currently overseeing a team who are top of the league in japan obviously he learned his trade from Ange Postacoglu. i think the issue that is attached to kevin muscat if you think of kevin muscat the player then he was Rough and ready. I think we'll, we'll, but put, seems we'll put it from like what that. I understand play quite good football. Exactly, don't they? but may, but maybe that message hasn't quite seeped across the Rangers fans because they just remember Muscat. This is the what I'm worried about actually. Is that this is almost like a, a PR issue rather than a uh, an issue about how good these people really are. You know, did you get to speak to uh, um, Frank Lampard, Rangers? Did you get to speak to Scott? Parker? I think they did speak to Frank did Lampard. You, did you? Did you? Do, do we know what the plan would be, or is it all about a PR exercise? Because ultimately, the most important thing is what happens on the pitch going forward. I'm not suggesting that Frank Lampard's the answer. I'm not suggesting Scott Parker's the answer. But I'm interested that the positive reaction that comes across to someone who 
has never managed in the in, in the British Isles and is literally just been fired by Monaco is more of a warm reception than someone who has been a relative success, whether you agree or not, at other clubs at a higher level. I think Frank Lampard did himself more harm than good by going back to Chelsea. I understand the emotional attachment of why he would have wanted to do it, but I think if he'd done his diligence, he would have known that he was walking into an absolute car crash. He won one game, didn't he? I think I was there at Bournemouth yeah. last season. So I don't think that's done him any favours. And I guess there's a financial <laughs> element to no this as well. No one's won many games at Chelsea over the course of the last year, mate. But I guess there's a financial element as well, because I would imagine that Frank Lampard would probably be trying to command a higher salary than now, Philippe Clermont. Now, that might be an interesting uh, take, actually, mightn't it, to find out how much Philippe Clermont would be on if he went there. We'll find out, maybe. Be over the course of time. Be interesting to hear from Rangers fans. 03717 double four is the number to call. You can text us as well. 81089. I'm just interested to be honest with you because I want to know whether or not this is because you've studied him and you think that his methods are great or whether or not it's actually just because of the narrative that surrounds some of these other bigger name managers that have uh, have, have done other work in the Premier League and in the Championship uh, before. 03717 double four, And it makes me wonder how these people are going to get back in if that is the narrative that surrounds them. Every time they go mm. to get a job, that actually the reaction is so bad that clubs then back off. And I don't understand why that would be the case, really. I think that's a problem. And again, if you look at Scott Parker, it was a gamble, wasn't it? A bold move going over to Belgium. That turned into a complete disaster for him as well. So you wonder where his reputation is now. And as I say, the fact that Steven Gerrard, a former Rangers manager, so certainly worth uh, mentioning in this debate, clearly didn't feel like he was going to get back into Premier League management anytime soon. He's gone over to Saudi Arabia. I think it's going to be a similar issue for the likes of uh, Frank Lampard and Scott Parker. Does I that guess... mean we're losing good like, good English managers, good English coaches to, to the game? We're not, we're, not, we're not keeping them within a, within the game well enough we're looking after them or what, what what's going wrong here yeah I can understand that that point of view but I guess there's also the counter argument and we were talking about this yesterday off air managers being given jobs based on reputation. reputation based on their playing careers if you look at Steven Gerrard he got parachuted straight into one of the big, one of the two biggest clubs in Scotland, to say Rangers fans would say the biggest club but in he, Scotland. But he can't be then doing he, too Then he badly. goes to Aston Villa, straight into the Premier League. He won league. the league at Rangers. Then run the, won the you league could for win, Rangers. You could win the league at Rangers. Come on, so you're, you're in a two horse title race. But what I'm saying is, would it not have been better for Steven Gerrard maybe to work That's his so way up through the EFL? Of, not only that league, but also of the fact that uh, of Rangers, because ultimately what you're saying then is, is it doesn't matter who's in the dugout. So why 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 the bigger version to put in Frank Lampard in there? No, I'm just saying that you. you well, no, you've backed you, right you, now. You, it's not that much of a success as Rangers so, managers so to win the league. You, why, why it's why it's, you it's you almost the bare. Then? It's almost the bare minimum. But back to my point, would it not have been better for people like? Stephen Gerrard to have served their apprenticeship in the EFL as Lampard did actually with that time in charge at Derby rather than going straight into the Premier League after Rangers failing in the Premier League and then all of a sudden he's back to square one I just think we're just too quick to write everybody off and I think at the end of the day if you look back at um, David Moyes' career for example I think everyone was just throwing away the fact that he hadn't done very well at Manchester United and that was it he was finished but no he had that back catalogue he was at Everton. No, but that, that, and that still didn't stop you from uh, having a go at him when he was uh, the manager of Real Sociedad, when he was the manager of Sunderland. You still, people were still not having him. He's come back to West Ham now and look at the success that he has been. They've won a European trophy. They've had their best start to the season since 1983-84. Look at how Aston Villa have prospered without Steven Gerrard. OK, and sometimes it doesn't work out for certain managers at different clubs. But do we throw them away and never hire them again? We went into a situation, and I think this is true, where we gave too many of the old school managers too many jobs on a regular basis. We kept going back to the same old figures. But just because someone has failed once or twice doesn't mean we should throw them away and never hire them again. That's what concerns me. Yeah, I agree.